Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR and today's SpaceX news update. We are talking about the SN11's flight that took place yesterday. We're going to talk about Elon Musk tweets that are coming out regarding SpaceX's future in the Texas area, the changes coming to the upcoming Starships, SN15 through 20, the 20 and beyond. We're also going to be talking about the boosters that Elon Musk had t- uh, tweeted about the uh, BN1 and the BN2. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick through the whole episode and drop a like on the video to stay on the tech side and the space side of YouTube algorithm. Let's get into why I clicked on the video. So for footage regarding the SN11, neither I nor anybody else has any good footage right now. This tweet right here is pretty much a meme of the comparisons of all the starships in flight. And here's the SN11. This is, this is the best footage of the SN11 at high altitude. Very bad day for a flight in terms of photography. It was so foggy in that area. SpaceX does have video footage, as we can see here, of inside the engine bay and on the sides of the Starship itself, but it really it really proves nothing or shows any justice of what happened with the Starship. But we do have a bit of insight as to what did happen. So the Starship went up as it was supposed to. However, at around T plus 26 seconds, we can see here one of the Raptor engines actually caught fire briefly for a little bit and that according to elon musk was a bigger problem and may have been the reason that the starship didn't land folks that's right the starship s11 it did not stick a successful landing there's no footage of the explosion with no good actual footage means we couldn't really see what the approach looked like for this starship did if the s11 actually was able to fully correct itself before landing if it did slightly touch down and then explode there's no footage of that but within the next day or two i'm sure spacex and elon musk they're gonna have a very good idea of what truly happened and spacex they may actually show footage in the future of what happened for the live stream itself all the cameras actually cut out unfortunately guys i don't have any good footage to show you regarding that but i do have good news regarding elon musk tweets and the information he's giving out and he's saying that it looks like engine 2 the one that we'd shown had issues on the ascent and didn't reach operating chamber pressure during the landing burn is but in theory that wasn't needed and because of this, they know that they're going to be examining that today and tomorrow and to get a better insight of what's going on. But the SN15, the next one, rolls the launch pad in just a few days, and it has hundreds of design improvements across structures, avionics, software, and engines. I am so excited, guys, to see SpaceX's new Starship, the SN15, to see what that truly looks like, the improvements, the physical improvements that they've made with it, and how much better this is going to be at landing. I'm sure... It's going to have a much higher, obviously it's going to have a much higher chance of landing, but I'm sure it's going to also just aesthetically be a lot more pleasing and not as clunky as this current Starship looks like. And he also tweeted, Elon Musk said that the SN20 and beyond, that rev is going to be huge. That those ones possibly will be orbit capable with heat shield and state separation systems and that ascent success probability is high. Ah, man, SN20. So that right now is the one that we should really all be looking forward to. The SN15 through then, again, are just more test vehicles to see what doesn't work, more or less, pretty much. And the SN20 beyond is saying that they're still going to need a lot of flight attempts to actually survive the entry because of the heating. And now we know that, all right, the Starships, they have a lot longer to go until we can really count on these to transport humans or cargo or anything like that. So at least... Elon Musk, the tweets, they're being honest with what's really going on with these starships. We have a while to go. Just because the SN10 did technically land for eight minutes, it doesn't mean that they're anywhere near using these as a viable uh, form of transportation. They have a lot more testing to go, a lot more starships failed, crash starships to go. I'm just glad that they're not being pretentious about it and trying to fool people and say that, oh yeah, with the SN15, it's going to be a perfect thing and we're just going to keep rolling it out from there. You know, there's honesty. I like that. Now moving on to the boosters. So the BN1 is currently in the high bay and it's being scrapped. Elon Musk, he tweeted that the BN1, it was just a manufacturing pathfinder. What that means is that they use the BN1 to figure, of course, how to assemble it, the best ways of assembling it, and also how to transport it, move it around successfully without it tipping over or damaging it in any way and so now with the bn2 this is going to be a big game changer with the bn2 they're going to be putting they're trying to put engines in it and have it on the launch pad before the end of april so if they're lucky it may be orbit capable that's coming directly from elon musk the bn2 guys may be a actual usable 
booster. And just with that being said, though, he's saying that they may be lucky if that happens. So with the BN3, there's a very high chance that we could see the booster within May, June, an actual successful booster ready to go. That is very exciting. All we have right now is a tall piece of stainless steel. But in a couple months, we could have a gargantuan rocket getting ready to do a test. So that's another thing to look out for, guys. And Mary actually tweeted a photo of it, the BN1 and the SN15 right over here. It, the BN1 next to that, it's going to be scrapped soon, but the SN15 is currently getting its flaps. And with those flaps means that it is very close to coming out. Like Elon Musk had tweeted that the SN15 is ready to roll out in a few days. And here we go. This is the flaps. This is confirmation that, you know what? He's not jerking us around. He's being honest. The SN15 is just about ready to rock and roll. And the last thing I want to talk about regarding the Elon Musk thing that, I mean, he went on a whole rant today and yesterday on Twitter. He is donating $20 million to Cameron County Schools and $10 million to the city of Brownsville for downtown revitalization. He is really trying to turn this entire city into his own space city. I mean, it's not a theory anymore. He, is, he really is trying to do this. He also said that he wants people to move to that area because they are in need for engineers, technicians, builders, the whole thing. I mean, he, he needs a city. Every kind of job you can imagine is needed. And to be honest, I personally, if this channel grows and gets any sort of you know momentum, I would love to do that too. I would love to go down there, maybe get a film crew myself. Um, I'm actually getting a camera myself and I will be live. You will be seeing my face very soon. And so I would love to really build this whole thing. That's why I've been kind of not making that many episodes lately after trying to get some things in the back end, getting up to par, getting to where I need them. But very soon, guys, this channel will be a lot better. I can promise you that. And this this right here, honestly, it kind of inspires me to go there in a year. I'm not going to lie. But again, that's if the channel gets to that point. And with that being said, guys, that's all I want to talk about in this episode. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to have a conversation. And like the video because, you know what, you stick this far, you might as well drop a like. Be sure to have a 